Ooh. Cool. Has anyone seen this kind of paper in Victoria? This cardboard. Some some people holding this paper and yeah. Oh, I'm really hungry. I'm I'm cold. I'm, give me give me a coin. Change? Do you have a change or something like that? Uh, I'm. I'm not pretending to be a homeless person. I'm really broke. Because, do you know why? Do you know why, Emily? No. no? Because I have gone to restaurants too many times. So, literally, I'm broke. <coughs> if you don't want to become the person like me, I'll, I'm going to teach you how to cook one of the most uh, thrifty foods in the world. It is the rice. If you are not rich, you should learn how to cook rice in a pot. After you learn, you will save money rather than going to restaurants, even McDonald's. And besides, you will have uh, more nutritious meals than bread. I'd like to let you know uh, what ingredients you need and the recipe, recipe to follow. To follow recipe. And, and the several things, but you should be careful. Of. Okay, it's time to get the materials. You will need uh, two cups of rice. This is two cups of rice. For two people, using Six ounce cup, mm -hmm. six ounce cup, and just a full of full cup and just two cups for two people, and so, enough yes. water for <coughs> cooking. Enough water, and um, iron pot, an iron pot, and a bowl, <laughs> and then finally you need a rice scoop, rice scoop. Are you ready? Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Here, here we start. Uh, first, step one, wash the rice. Wash the rice in a bowl, in a bowl with a cold water, approximately three or four times. Three or four, four times by hands. Make sure you, you wash your hands before this. And, and you should know, you have to make sure that uh, you pour all the water uh, after each washes, at each washes and the water will be white, so you should pour all the water. And step two, <coughs> pour all, after pour all the water and uh, pour water the same amount as rices, same amount as rices. So using this cup and same amount as rices water and two cups of water, we put the two cups of water here and then soak rice in the water in water for 30 minutes so keep it just for 30 minutes and you can do uh, other things like studying English and <laughs> after that you should pour all the water all the water after soaking and pour a little bit more water and you, you will you will pour um, soaked rice in the in a pot and pour a little bit more water in this pot and a little bit more water than rice and put a pot on the uh, strongest element, strongest fire, so high level. And you should the cover the cover should be sealed because the steam. Uh, rice cooked by steam. And step four, when it starts to boil, uh, when it starts to boil and lower the fire level gradually to the lowest, or lowest for three minutes. And step five, keep it for, keep it, keep it this, keep this for about 30 minutes and put on the fire, put out the fire Put out the fire and and then keep it for uh, 10 to 12 minutes again. 
eventually you will have cooked rice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you if you are fed up with fed up with eating uh, sandwiches or breads or whatever Canadian food, uh, rice is the solution. If you are not fed up with breads, rice is the solution. Also, rice is the solution for saving money because it's cheap, and you just you need to gather ingredients and follow the recipe that I teach taught you, and it is very easy. But you should be careful. Uh, you should keep an eye on what's going on because if you sleep during this progress, it will burn and you will die. <laughs> Different food culture can make you, uh, can discourage you to study English. As well, going to an expensive restaurant can make you are broke, like a homeless person. Rice is not only good for Asia, it, I'm sure that it is also good for uh, not Asian, like Armando and Debra and Trisha. And if you eat rice daily for a couple of months, uh, you will realize the origin of Korean's power. <laughs> Thank you for listening.